Okay. Okay. Once formidable Batarian navy was all but annihilated when the Reaper struck Arshan. The enraged survivors have gathered into a single remaining group. Batarian refugees are enlisting by the thousands, desperate for a sense of purpose after the destruction of their home world. No collection of vessels is more eager to engage the Reaper than Arshan lies. As the highest ranking officer left in the hegemony, Balak is now the last Batarian military leader. His leadership, drive, and barely contained fury have galvanized his but Balak bears a deep hatred for the Alliance. He would do anything to save his people, and has grudgingly joined forces with the Amity's capital. Tarian refugees are rallying around the pillars of strength, finding courage in the sacred ancient artifacts of the Reaper. Consecrated the CDF to support Shepard in the war against the Reaper. The CDF includes ships and soldiers from every council. Compliments from a few species without official membership status have also quietly joined. After the attempted to, no offer of assistance is being turned away by the council. Hangers and refugees, civilians volunteering at emergency clinics help to save lives from hospital patients, doctors taking the burden off the citadels of the ex medical staff, warning people on the citadel to prepare for the war has improved civilian readiness. The con artists exploiting refugees were thrown off the citadel, security improved in the docks. Result. Doctor authorization for these medical supplies from customs to wear to and quality. Inspector gives the emergency staff and surveillance. They use the footage to make several arrests, improving security. Train of civilian mission, strength and defense force. Housing was found for students from Christmas Academy to get into a protein device. Blah, blah, blah. Deck is focusing on small crimes and misdemeanors to spread their forces thin. Seems to be dealing with larger threats. After reassurances that keeping money in the bank is critical to the war effort, Polis merchants are making budget relief efforts and defense forces in the Citadel. Schematics recovered by Commander Shepard Highlands. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Many respected Asari scientists have used their long lifespans to become leading experts in their field. Asari scholars often gain perspective on how cultural shifts affect society, grasping the larger contextual forces behind new proposals and using this to springboard into hypotheses years ahead of time. The Asari science team working on the Crucible consists of some of the keenest scientific mavericks in the galaxy, eager to contribute to its destruction. The fleet has more dreadnoughts than any other collection of ships in the Asari Navy. An almost superstitious threat has grown around its entrance into conflict, as any war with the fleet has never remained small. It was the sixth fleet that flew against the Rachni in the beginning of the Rachni Wars, and it was the sixth fleet that liberated the first colony under siege in the Krogan Rebellion. Unfairly or not, its service people have a reputation for being sober, serious, and humorous. Nevertheless, the sixth fleet is a welcome sight for any ally that arrives. The Asari Second Fleet is largely composed of frigates and fighters, embodying the Asari's hit-and-run mindset with a nimble swarm rather than a slower collection of vessels. The second is normally dispatched to protect colonies from pirate raiders or mercenary activity. The second fleet's fighter squadrons are intensely competitive, bracing to break the records set by others, but unquestionably loyal to each other in fight. The the flagship of the Citadel fleet, a powerful Asari dreadnought unlike any other vessel in the galaxy, captured by matriarch Ladanya, the Destiny essentially evacuated the council during the 2183 Battle of the Citadel, but was crippled by attacking death. Alliance fleets came in, taking heavy fire, but saving the Ascension and the council from destruction. The Asari have repaired and upgraded the dreadnought shielding and firepower, committing the formidable ship to fight against them. Nice. Close years ago by Dr. Conrad Werner, this doctoral, dis doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology is a lengthy but intriguing argument that dark energy causes a minute but empirically observable difference in the passage of time. Hotly debated when first published, the paper's theory is supported by recent data. The dissertation illuminates several instructions left by the Protheans on how to build a crucible. Fucking Conrad Werner, what the fuck? Dr. Werner found additional schematics useful in the creation of the device. After passing the data onto the Alliance, he added Commander Shepard to the dissertation's list of acknowledgement. Conrad Werner is a smart boy? What the fuck? The Alliance ruins unfairly dismissed the Salarian Third Fleet as nothing more than an overabundance of spy planes. While the Salarians rely heavily on gathering intelligence in any war, Third Fleet's firepower is comparable to any other major naval force. Its vessels use the latest Guardian defense systems with improved tracking algorithms to handle a greater number of projectiles than older models. Even its scouting flotillas have been armed with hull-mounted Thanex cannons developed in conjunction with the Korean military. 
Now that their egg clutches are out of danger, the Salarian colony Senecool is shipping all the materials and weapons to muster for the third fleet. Uh, the Turian Navy has the most dreadnoughts of any known species in the Milky Way. The Turian hierarchy limited production of these ships only because the Treaty of Ferrixen strictly controls the number of dreadnoughts due to their destructive capabilities. <laughs> the Turian Sixth Fleet is technically classified as a peacekeeping fleet. For the Reapers, it was chiefly used to patrol the space around the Citadel. Now it's ready to fly to areas trying to fight off the invasion. It was assigned the privilege and burden of guarding the Crucible during the weapons construction and deployment. The fleet flies constant surveillance around the massive device, coordinating with Alliance security patrols and BI-run counterintelligence programs. The Seventh Fleet knows what it would cost the galaxy if the Reapers breached their defense. Every vessel's captain is prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice that ensures the Crucible's safety. Crates of dextroamino acid metagel have been shipped out, of the Turian, out to the Turian Seventh Fleet. This resupply will help Tyrion medics treat potentially fatal wounds. Cover the legendary banner of the first version of live the spirits of overworked Tyrion forces. Nice. Um, okay, let's take a look at our journal here. What do we just have to avoid? Perseus Vale. Okay. Avoid the Perseus Vale. That's where the priority is. Too. No, I was surprised by Odina, my friend. Commander, uh, Commander, I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? You'll recall I mentioned growing up in the Terminus systems. I was visiting my family at home. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Good job, Trainer. Commander. Trainer. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats? <laughs> I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And Caden's back. He even remembered the first rule of serving on the Normandy. Don't shoot the commander. <laughs> go easy on Caden. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, nearly getting the council killed. That's not gonna look good on the yearly performance review. I fucking love you, Joker. Commander. You're my favorite character. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Evie. What's on your mind, Evie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Moss. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. <laughs> this has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. 
But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do, the good deeds we accomplish, love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. <laughs> Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Are you and Caden okay? The last time he saw that body, it wasn't exactly pleasant. I have informed him of the situation. He is taking it well. Good. Sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Okay. But I'm first gonna go to my cabin. Talk to my head. Ah! Oh my god. Uh. Admiral Hackett, Commander Shepard. I'm ordering the Normandy into dry dock on the Citadel for much needed repairs. He's seen a lot of action lately and needs a little TLC. Small army of techs will take care of the details once you arrive, so let's get your crew out of there. They're all on shore leave. That's an order. Need everybody at their best. One more thing. Admiral Anderson has an apartment on the ward. Head over there when you arrive. I hear it's a nice place. Stephen Haggett. Shepard, as promised, here's what we have on Kai Lang. Name. Kai Lang. Data Systems. Alliance Military Enlist. November 14th, 2172. Age on a list 16. Credentials. Thing. Tours of Duty, 2172, Terminus Systems Patrol and Reconnaissance, 2173, Exodus Cluster, Patrol and Reconnaissance, Reprimanded for taking medals from dead enemy officers, sentence reduced in light of previous exemplary service record, Rate of Antion, Recommended for Systems Alliance Medal of Valor, Heights Nest, Tactical Reconnaissance, Accepted into Interplanetary Combatives Academy, Received N7 Designation from Interplanetary Combatives Academy, Dishonorably Discharged and Imprisoned after charge of First Degree Murder, Cerberus activity intel on Kai Lang's activities after joining Cerberus at Spotty. What is known is that the elusive man arranged for Lang's escape from prison, employing him as an operative for the next 10 years. Lang is now believed to be the elusive man's most trusted agent, working as an infiltrator and assassin. His cybernetic modifications appear to include Cerberus's Phantom Class implant. But hey, Commander, wondering if you got some time in the near future. Nothing critical, just wanted to chat. There you go. From Adrian Victor. Commander Shepard, Cerberus just ambushed a Turian cruiser full of high ranking hierarchy officials. The cruiser managed to escape, but its location was top secret. Cerberus couldn't have located that ship without inside information, and the only other person who knew the cruiser's position was Volus Ambassador Din Corlat. I've heard ugly rumors of a bounty up for his head. My advisors insist I can't bring these accusations against Corlat themselves. I admit they are right. The Turian and Volus economies are tightly intertwined, and now isn't the time for a political crisis that would result. But the security of our fleets is at stake. I ask that you investigate Corlat in your capacity as a specter and find out if he is indeed a Cerberus bone. Forwarded information on his last known location, Inspector Office on the Citadel, Guards Primark Pick. From Alliance News Network Information Partners, Elysium, an evacuation shuttle nearly destroyed as it attempted to escape the Reaper occupied colony of Elysium, was reportedly saved after a lone biotic worker intervened. The shuttle was carrying children who drew higher numbers on the colony's evacuation lottery, meaning they were not eligible to board the first wave of shuttles leaving the planet. Their shuttle was saved when the biotic identified by authorities as Arash Agdasho engaged Reaper forces that were preventing it from taking off. Agdash Lu had a history of drug abuse and criminal activity and claimed to have survived a Cerberus camp on Pregia as a child. Witnesses said he killed several dozen Reaper creatures before he was overwhelmed, providing the shuttle just enough time to fly clear. Is that the guy we talked to, like, at the uh, During Jack's loyalty mission? No, I don't think that's the That's one just went in my eye. God damn it. 
Oh my god. Dude, I love fucking... Oh, the one thing I hate about contacts is... Shit gets in your eye easy. Am I good? I am not good. I will be right back because I have to go fix my eyeball now. Because there's something in my eye. From a con from my contact. And it's a new contact too. It's like this month's contact. I just put them in today. Ah. I have fixed my eyeball. <laughs> okay, there we go. I don't know how something got in my eye, but it's gone now. From J students are kicking ass and taking names. They're keeping on. They 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 are keeping them on short rotation so they don't burn out. So we end up with lots of shore leave. Next time you hit the citadel, come by Purgatory. I'll be there if I'm not blowing shit up in the field. Diana Allers. The networks are going wall-to-wall -wall with coverage of the attack on the Citadel. Everyone's asking questions about Udina's death. Can I get an hour or so with you to talk about what happened? I'm thinking your captain rather than the conference room so we don't get interrupted. I heard you knew the counselor personally. If you need some time alone or don't want to talk about it, just say the word. Diana. Commander Trainer. Commander, thanks for taking the time to speak with a civilian. I'd love to see how Commander Shepard feels time between missions. Why don't you give me a call if you'd like to grab drinks in your cabin? Oh, that's really flirty, Commander. Uh, the Samantha Trainer. It's Kaden, alright. Ooh! 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 I think we'll give you that look. Bye. Oh, hold on, is it actually? I love the music. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. As a real flirty. Ha! Oh, come on! My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a jump. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. 
I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, a rematch? Hell yes. Oh. Okay. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Hmm. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night, and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Ah, oh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. Did the robot just shake his head at me? <laughs> James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. 
I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, loco. Anytime. Fuck that fucking robot head. Okay. Go down to the crew deck. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? And at least Caden didn't have to join Ash. Let's hope she's looking out for us. This was her fight too. This hurt. This hits hard. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Good to have Caden back. We can always use a friendly gun. Seems so calm from here. There are people going through hell in a million different ways. Out there. And I want to be fighting alongside them, but... I want to be here. You know? Sure. Thinking of anyone specific? I heard from my mom, Shepard. My dad is, um... He's M.I.A. He's presumed. Tell me what happened. You said they got out of Vancouver. He left mom at the orchard and reported for active duty. That's all we know, but it's, uh, it's enough. She's alone in this now, in all this. I feel for you, Caden. And I'm glad you told me. There's strength in camaraderie, in empathy. Thanks. You're right. I don't know how you do it, Shepard. Keeping it all together like you do. Earth is always in the back of my mind. Haunting me. I get that. I do. And my students. Well, wherever they are. I know they're kicking ass. On Earth or somewhere. You know, when this war is over, <laughs> there's gonna be one hell of a reunion party. Hell yeah. Dancing in the streets, hugging and crying. My mom's always wanted to travel off planet. I think I'll take her. Thanks for coming by. Good to have you back, Caden. Hey, I bumped into Edie in the hall. Scared the shit out of me. You could have warned me. She looks good, though. <laughs> Damn it, Caden. Yeah, she do look good. <clears throat> oh, yeah, May I speak with you, Commander? Borden's dead. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Commander, what? an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Ooh. I like the sound of that. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Yeah, yeah. Speak to Tactus. Goddamn. Well, it's a Citadel. Holy sh You should be able to find him near the docks. Okay. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray. But it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. The Salarian Special Task Force appears to... <laughs> appears to have... Pa -pa 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 -pa. Appears to have approached the Vol Protectorate about co-developing de co combat implants by a rare elements found in Volus space. The schematics for these implants include plans to retrofit them to non-Salarian species should it be a sufficiently profitable venture. One of these upgrades could be commissioned, although its construction would be time-consuming and must be custom-made. See power damage or health. Power damage. Hell yeah. Alright, Secretary Phillips. The emergency fund's gone, sir. We don't have the credits to hire enough ships to evacuate the colony. Before the Reapers get here, not with the prices their captains are asking. What about the military? They left an hour ago. They said, they said it's too much of a risk to come back. Did they? Yes, sir. Here, this is this a pass key, sir, and an inventory. Phillips, I am authorizing you on behalf of the C city senate to seize any and all Ezo stockpiles in our treasury, in order to secure safe passage for our citizens on any available ships. These look like private stockpiles. Senate members stuck. I'm foregoing re-election. So get us those ships. Yes, sir. Goddamn. Absolute mad lad. Counselor Ujir. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by. That's all you have to say to me, Liara? Hi. Greetings, Commander. Greetings, robot. Good to have Caden back. We can always use a friendly gun. Up, 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 up. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh or starve. Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, his death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others would be tolerated. Jesus Christ, Jap. It's aggressive. Real aggressive, dude. I don't know how I feel about it. Breaking now, the Citadel in flames. A brazen attack by Cerberus, repelled by CSEC. We speak with the man who fought on the front lines, Commander Shepard. That's me. How did Cerberus get in? Where was the Citadel fleet? Find out in a Battle Space exclusive. Commander. Who you got photos of? Down here? Uh, do we have anyone down here? 
here yet? I don't think we do. <coughs> nope. All right. If the engineers want to stay. Don't think. My board is green. Shepard. Donnelly. Commander. Engineer. Shuttle Bay. Never thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. I can't believe Udina. Great example to the other races, huh? Yeah. <sighs> Meh. I like I like this. Nice and sleek. I actually kind of like that. Oh, did I rose it off? Sense. We have the money. Hey, Commander. I knew Udina was a dirty bastard. Oh, what? Go with the priority for it. Avoid the first one. Hey. Hi. All right. CIC. Some. Ex-Berberous Science.
Galax was given to the Krogan program. <laughs> Bit of a spelling mistake. Man. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? Our intel is minimal. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. No wonder Cerberus abandoned this place. It's freezing. All right, just keep moving. What did these people do to bring this down on their heads? Over here for no scam. Jacob, how bad? I'll live, I think. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now, but they'll be back. Uh, sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you too. Staying out of trouble, I see. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. 
She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. The elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Jacob Taylor, way out here. That's a surprise. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. He's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer, we met on Project Overlord. That's one way of putting it. Yes. Well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. Uh, I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. Not a monster who tortured his own brother. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. What happened to Project Overlord? You deserve it. After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of reliving the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord is no more. I have to go. And I'm not even going to pretend it was good to see you again. I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. Horus to Bryn. Bryn, I don't like this. I've managed to get eyes on some of the research the others are doing, and I'm getting a sense of a big picture here beyond anything we could have imagined. And our worst nightmare is kind of imagined. I'm going to start sabotaging my work. That's how bad it is. We can meet up and talk. ASAP. Hmm? What's going on here? Stockholm cell to pack their own crates. I need you up here. Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. It'll just take me a minute. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. 
How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. You ran with over 40 people? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? Like we didn't have enough to worry about. So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Oh my god. Partners, spouses, That's a lot of parents. kids. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. That it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You in? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Dr. Cole? Got a moment? Of course. What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? How did you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. So what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the collector. It was a reserve. The elusive man. It all strange. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Okay. Isn't everyone's? Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. If I heard her whole thing. Cole, with Jacob's help, we have managed to ascertain that several of our colleagues were in fact killed. Contracts terminated is what Cerberus called it. Data Scott, Daniel Chunhai, Annika, and so many others I didn't even know about. All of them gone, disappeared without a trace. Just like that. We should have left sooner. I don't know why we waited so long. I can't remember what seemed so important that we had to stay just one more day. What was I thinking? Leave those things. Let's just get the hell out of here. Down. Commander Shepard's here. So what? So relax. We've got a little time. Yeah, Commander Shepard's here. Yeah, everything is going to be okay. Some kind of poison. Tailored to Turians. Domini Sengupta. Attempts are ongoing at figuring out what the end product of our research is meant for. While it is obvious that the delivery system was to be implant-reliant with evident neurological applications, many questions remain as of yet unanswered. 
The loss of Dr. Horace Armstrong in particular is hindering our efforts to speedily reconstruct the nature of the elusive man's goals. We have several parts of the whole which lead us to chilling conclusions. We are nowhere near figuring out what might, what said hole might be, and that is what scares me the most. I'm not willing to die to save this data. Let me. I'll purchase. Chef, I'm in here. I don't want to die. Go. Just go. No, no. I'm okay. Let's just do this. Jacob's here. Outpost out for 80% operational. We are. We have reorganized some of the storage rooms around the central core, turning them into living units in order to save power. The outer areas are all condemned now, which should provide us with a buffer should Cerberus find us. The guns are functional, but I don't like how exposed they are. I'm going to look into finding us some shielding on the black market. Taylor, I will be right back, because I don't know if talking to you will send me through a cut. What would these people have done if we hadn't shown up? These civilians had no hope of coming out of this alive. Chef, I'm in here. Hey, you okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. You look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. How long have you known Brit? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her? You settling down, Jacob? <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's just, um, if these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life, whatever's left of it. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working at a place like this? After we got back, well, things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. Yeah. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. And what did all that fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure, I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> right. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. All right. Do our mission. If Jacob says we're going to be all right, I trust him. But my daughter. Find the satellite tower.
Jacob, this should be back online now. Affirmative, but the guns are still down. You'll need to manually activate them. Head back to the front of the facility. More enemies in our path. We have to get up there and activate those AA guns manually. Right. Oh shit, stuff back. Good thing that didn't go up. Piercing mod three. Very important. The other gun is still down. Let's get over there. There's the med kit. What? Failure at junction. Repair and reset. Okay. One of us has to make these repairs. Liara, I need you to fix this. You got it. Ready, Garrus? Let them do their worst. Seconds up power up the gun. Gotcha. I'm on it. You could push it in yourself, Liara. I don't have to. Fit. Shepard, AA guns are back online. Copy that. Let's get these people out of here. Hog. Okay. The guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? <sighs> Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We can go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. 
and we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. Wait for my go. You can begin the evacuation from the command terminal. Got it. The evacuation is progressing. Is there anything else? Thanks, Dr. Cole. Thank you again. I want to feel sick. Make sure nothing left. I've already read that. Yeah, there's room with everything done. Let's go ahead and evacuate the city. Guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Oh, oh, snipe. Shuttle one is away. All right, everyone here, head to the shuttle bay and suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are. Get those people out of here! Oh no! He crashed! That's not a good sign! <laughs> it's not a good sign! No, I remember. Hopefully that was just a one-time thing. Uh, not going to be reoccurring. That would suck a lot. Here, head to the shuttle bay and suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are get those people out of here. Hey, no crash. the shuttle bay first so we can bring the door up then get out to the landing pad right behind you jacob bring up the main door got it shepherd will do here we go okay let's get these people out of here
Vince, what's the status? Shepard, the facility's overrun. Cerberus troops are all over the place. One more shuttle of refugees to go, right? Affirmative. We got it. We just need to hold them a little longer. Another guy already. Oh, fuck. Out by the skin of our teeth again, eh, Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reavers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course, but I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Hack it here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on this call. Oh. Okay. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know, you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith, that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like
like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Da, da, da. About the attempt to take over the Citadel, noted Cerberus is back in the steps with morale of the Lion's Crown Force. Nine. The elusive man's search for humanity's best attracted many around scientists. Cerberus offered generous salaries, brand new facilities, and unfettered budgets. Despite these lavish perks, some began to worry about the ethical ramifications of their work. The scientists first from Galax were among the first to leave Cerberus. They diligently helped to construct crucible. Dr. Bryn Cole is an ex-Cerberus scientist who studied the technology left behind by the Collector. He eventually cut ties with the Elusive Man and helped dozens of scientists and their families flee the organization. The doctor has joined the Crucible Project using this knowledge gained during her employment with Cerberus to help build the weapon. Dr. Gavin Archer was a well-known synthetic intelligence specialist from Terra Nova who disappeared years ago to work with Cerberus. Now that he spreads away with his former employer, Archer is among the scientists working on the study of VIs and AIs, in particular the Geth, gives him unique insights into parallel processing and internal communication that have already improved the weapon's efficiency. After helping Commander Shepard destroy the Collectors, Jacob Taylor cut his ties with Cerberus. He joined the war following an attack on a safe house for former Cerberus operatives where he was hiding out. Jacob turned down formal reinstatement into the Alliance Marine Corps, feeling his past with Cerberus disqualified him from their company. Taylor is instead a consultant, advising the Alliance on Cerberus tactics and defenses. He also participates in missions that target the elusive man's hold. Nice. Save. Okay. Commander, Caden was looking for you. I believe he's in the crew quarters. The Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. You're turning into a regular Marine. Yes. Well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. It feels good to bring someone out alive. Yeah, Commander, I find this messaging system to be outdated and clumsy. I assume Specialist Trainer was joking when she said I had to type letters to form words. I want to visit the Citadel the next time we travel. In my lifetime, it had been captured by the Reaper. If you would like to join me, I will be in the area where the embassies are located. I believe this concept of collective control shared among races is a lie. Shepard, I need an excuse to tear myself away from all these monsters. Come see me the next time we dock on the Citadel. Shepard, I thought next time we're at the Citadel, maybe we could take a break. We can't fight a war without a little R&R &R once in a while. So they hire on Seasack near the Shadows. Hey, Shepard, I don't know about you, but I could sure use a little breather. Next time we're on the Citadel, let me buy you dinner. Try Apollos. It's a little rush in the courtyard overlooking the Grant, I discovered a few things about my sister. It's bad, but there's something else going on. I'm back on the Citadel. I'll find a place to meet and send you an appointment. Okay, I've... Jesus Christ, I guess I gotta go to the fucking Citadel. <laughs> My god. Hey. There you are. Are you flirting with me? <laughs> if you have to ask, I'm clearly out of practice. Well, when we've got time. You'll have to let me practice. Oh, uh, what? You know, I've just been sitting here thinking. Uh-oh. Okay, hit me with it. So those Cerberus scientists, they were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Dr. Cole and her team seemed like... like good people. Knowing that, what do we do? I mean, 
what if they're more like them, trapped inside Cerberus, struggling to get out? Tell me what you think we should do. I don't know, Shepard. These are the hard calls. I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many? The choice to leave someone behind? Until you're in that moment, I... So, yeah, you know, I don't know. Anyone that comes forward, like these people, we help, no matter what. That's the best we can do. I know. Sometimes the best we can do won't feel like enough, but it's all we've got. So the scientists that put you back together, that saved your life, they were good people. They were professionals. I didn't know them all. And the elusive man? Was he a good person? Once? Ever? Well, he gave me what I needed to stop the collectors. Right, exactly. But so you never saw this coming from him. From him. Sorry. I'm not sure. No, I saw it coming. I want you to say here. I guess I'm just looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. Something. Back then, he wanted the best for humanity, and he had resources to spare. But then it became humanity first, and at any cost. And that, that's a very different thing. But this? No. I never saw this coming from him. Mm. Okay. Well, thanks, Shepard. I'm glad we could talk about this. Meanwhile, you should find a way to take your mind off things. <sighs> I know. Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. He keeps losing his shirt to James. Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. <laughs> Great. Well, I like a challenge. See you around. You bet. Hey, if you get a moment, we should head out to the Citadel for a snack. Okay, I guess we gotta head to the fucking Citadel. Oh my god. Um... I know a place that uh, still has steak. Gone to the Athena Nebula? I don't think I have. I'm gonna check that. Before we go to the Citadel. I have not been. Signal confirmed. Sorry, cruiser. It's a bay. Oh boy. Uh, let's go to Bernie, I think. I found something. Barrier period stay. Fuck you, Reapers. Ah, been bamboozled. Reapers eluded. But Tamaros. 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 Signal confirmed. Oh, they angry. Real quickly. Dead. Sorry, cruiser in the frame. Get the 
fuel. Boom. Be out. Suck Faster it. Faster than light jump successful. Suck it, Reefers. That looks like a special. I found something. Yeah. I know how games work. Sorry, research tip. <laughs> it almost isn't good enough, bitch. Yeah. Suck it, Reapers. Good. All right. Here, let's and right here. Signal confirmed. Okay. Reapers eluded. Ooh, just Pull up and go explore a different one. Um, let's see. No space. Aethon cluster. Go to the Aethon cluster. than light jump successful. You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Um, take me to... Common. I need a cab to the Presidium. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. I think I know which project you mean, and I've got a Hesperia period statue in Bay D24. Commander Shepard, that's excellent news. I'll have it sent to that project right away. Thank you so much for your help. So, what were you able to see from the inscriptions? Combine Arsenal Thank supplies. You, class. Come again. My people are so welcome to Kanala X. We appreciate okay. your visit. Nothing new there.
Uno momento, Caden. Surprised this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. Maybe it's better if we don't ask how or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. And there weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Yeah. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart to heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> If you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver? <laughs> Drank more than a few beers on their balcony, looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Let's me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. It's just, you plan a career, you focus, and then suddenly the world's ending and it's too late to, uh, to find someone. Someone? We've been friends a long time, Shepard. Have you ever known me to be with anyone? Eh? I, mean, I guess I'm just choosy or eh? patient or... Eh? I don't know. Maybe what I've never found and what I want is something deeper with someone that I already care about. No. Not me. It's not me, Kate. That's what I want. It's not me. What do you want? <laughs> I'm sorry, Caden, but we should just keep it professional. Sure thing. No problem. I I understand. But okay, look. Awkward. I just want you to know that I consider you a friend. Okay? A good one. Damn, this is way less awkward in my mind. Mostly, I guess I just wanted you to know that I admire you as a commander, and I value your friendship. You're my brother, Caden. I'm glad to be part oh, of Oh, I brother-zoned him! Uh, sanity Ooh. check. Mm. Ouch! Sanity check. Ouch, I am so sorry, Caden. Oh, he's not even here anymore. Ooh. Ow. Yikes. Ooh. That sting. Brother Zoe. Oh. Oh. Welcome to Casa Fabrication. Y'all got fish for me to buy? I want more fish. No fish. That's fine. That's fine. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Ubashi Biker. Remember, all purchases made by Welcome to Super Teen Armor. Thank you for shopping at Super Teen Armor. Credit report as AM Trading Limited. You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali. Back on Thessia, my mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. It'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. 
Wholesome. That's a wholesome friend. Hello, Shepard. Wholesome friend. You guys think he didn't mean you wish to name the first cast as the one who helped us? I think that's a wonderful idea. I think anyone is gonna be in or we're just gonna give it a little dander. Yeah. No. No one. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. One sec, Jacob. I gotta listen to Crazy Lady. I got out of that farm and into the hills. I pulled the farm girl after me. All I wanted to do was live through the night. Nobody else could have done more. But morning came, no shuttle. Afternoon and then night, hiding from husks and those Turian things. The file says the evacuation team thought your position was overrun. So after two days, I still don't have a gun because those Turian things can't use theirs. I realize that shuttle isn't coming, not unless I get back to the farm and my radio. And the farm girl? She was with me. Even killed a few husks. <laughs> yeah, y'all, you have to say who died. Who died? Okay. Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this crucible built, Shepard. And then, we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure, I feel it. Are and you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Get it done. Believe it. <laughs> Naruto? Believe it! It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Wow. Congratulations. That was fast. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, you knew each other for what, a few was. months? Do the whole thing right. Jesus. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None taken. Good. Uh. Damn it. So what's going on with you? Name the baby Still after like what me. You're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy. Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard... Thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Anyone to talk to out over here? Okay. Trying to run on by. If there's anything. Yeah. Damn real. I overheard what you said. 
I found this at a Cerberus station. A poison tailored to Turians. Let me see. Yes, I think this is it. With these schematics, we should be able to come up with an antidote. Thank you. The General might pull through because of this. Yes, General Corellius should make a full recovery. He's already awake and responding. Nice. Y'all got anything more to say? You know? That area explored. Welcome to Serta. Thank you for shopping. Spectre status recognized. Uh, purgatory. One moment, please. Now arriving at ward level purgatory. Each of Anyhow, enough about my armor. Let's find the gang and celebrate while I'm still here. Where'd you park? I took rapid transit. Come on, you have the fanciest ride on the Citadel. And I saw that new paint job. I, uh, I sold it a couple of weeks ago. What? But you love that car. I know. You never shut up about that car. I know. No. So, looks like you two are having fun. Yes. Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, he is happier. It seemed like you two might make a good match. I was not so certain. When I first presented his body to Jeff, he seemed aloof. Really? What did Joker say? He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we then proceeded to talk normally. After your encouragement, his attitude exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant, but you convinced him to go for it. I might have helped a little. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. This is proving to be an illuminating experience. My man. You just introduced me as your personal assistance man. Yeah, well, it was the only way to get you inside. But you know I am not one. Why deceive others? You don't really want to introduce yourself as an AI with Uber-based code. They would lynch you. That would be an inefficient way to render me non-functional. Your turn. Counselor Tabos. Hot. But points off for attitude. Shaira the consort. Uh, hot, I guess? Can we stop this? You're creeping me out. Dalatras Nimron. Ew. <laughs> huh? Uh. Embassies. Now arriving at Presidium and Embassy. Caden Alenko, the second human specter, assisted commander. Hello. 
hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the citadel, alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire, the power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. Hmm. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many. There may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being... Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Turian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive, and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside. He's kind of scary. <laughs> He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The Commander is a capable warrior as well. For a human <laughs> who once lived in caves. Thank you, Commander. Right. I've enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. No replacement has been oh, selected Jack. for the position vacated by Counselor Danelle Medina, who died assisting Cerberus in the Gate. Thank you again, Earth Clan. Heavy losses are mounting as human colonies Elysium, Tipiri, and Zeus Hall are hit by Reaper forces. Are you kidding? My family disowned me when I married Neota. Want to guess why? Oh my. They'd be happier to see those Cerberus assholes than they would be to see me. I understand why you would not wish to send your daughter to them. Yeah, well, your understanding doesn't help me or my daughter much right now. I don't think Bailey will have anything to say, but Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze, or in my case, limping. And I wonder if we'll ever be the same. These are dark days for all of us. You got your work cut out. You and me. All right. Of Miranda. My, my specter office. Fine. You're not a specter, Miranda. How'd you get in here? Where the fuck are you? Bolus Ambassador Din Corlex's current location is unknown. Biometric analysis does not say the name public this time. His last known position was an office suite near the human em embassy. Correct. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? 
That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins, a lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. I don't know, I'm pretty good at things. Uh, I, I think I could I could make it, promise. So I'm already here. Five, over there, okay. Was the Bolas ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Specter business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. But he guilty. You people are monsters. You people. Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus. It left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't. I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. I can't go to CSEC, but Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. What are you... Damn, Cerberus has them everywhere nowadays. You're gonna go on about them all night. Just get the car up here quick. Little bastard's even heavier than he looks. No, Zaid. Zaid? How long 
until we killed Kolak. Once the credits go through, was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. Be waking up. This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Uh, we're still near the Presidium. C-Sec will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. Now arriving at Presidium. I'm guessing apartments. Yep. Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Damn, wrong door. He needs you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. He's a recent acquaintance. How recent? Very. Shit. All right, I'm listening. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Did those mercs hurt you? I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. You tried to do the right thing before. It failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Vola support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. I can't. You can. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus's better nature, Shepard. Aphis. The colony's name is Aphis. Cerberus wants its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks. Took him long enough to spit that out. Zaid, what are you doing here? Later, C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. I don't want to catch up with you, Zaid. I don't like you. I find you boring.
inspector status recognized. Please select One moment, please. Let's go to the holding area, because I think there's things here as well. Now arriving at Dogging Bay E24. Emergency civilian housing. James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail? Right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice? Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! What the hell are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. Wondered if you'd show up, Shepard. Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. I could always use more help. I'll bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Tell you what. I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Can't promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing, I can lend a hand. Who were those people you were with? Bunch of mercs from Omega. Signed on with them when I heard they were making a hit on Cerberus. Should have studied the job longer. Who were those people you were with? Bunch of mercs from Omega. Okay, that's bad. Signed on with them when I heard they were making a hit on Cerberus. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes, someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference, and our mission may just save everyone. Now is not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Thank you, Tactus. You made the right choice. That's all of it. Let's move to a new spot. What? 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 There's my VI. Me. Hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with our scheme. Oh, 
why it was so silly. The docking bay. Now arriving at docking bay D24. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. It's supposed to be raining right now, but, uh, I don't see no rain. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. <laughs> What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. But I'm also a Spectre, so... I can do whatever I want. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. Hold on, is he dump jumping into the water? A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? Oh no. Oh, ha, that's too high, dude. You obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. You're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> Maybe. Now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. Oh. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian. You're going down. And don't worry. I loaded it with practice slugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this. Not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. I said a tough one. Step aside. Do it. Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. <laughs> yeah, well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. <laughs> We'll just run around see if there's anything over here. Yeah. I'd like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. And what combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Um, none, ma'am. <laughs> Outstanding. 
go back to the Normandy and then land in the private office. Okay, so this is this is part of the deal. So we don't need, we don't need that for a while. Um, be like. Oh, the Valhalla and Threshold? I think there's some air to do. Evasion successful. Signal confirmed. Fuel pads. Reapers eluded. No, there's nothing in a bra heel. Okay. Um. Anything in the Ninma? Okay, it is in. Far rim. I don't want to go there. Thank you. 
doctor. He secured those lot. Are you sure you want to play this game? What's the matter, Vicarian? You chicken? I don't even know what that is. Though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back. I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use him. Hey, Commander. See, I... The other two games didn't have these interactions. I'm loving them so much. Oh, now it's... You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medigel delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyn. Okay. Still think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Funny you mention those. I find using my biotics. You've been through a lot, Scars. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Fair enough. We've all got one of those. Just one, huh? Yeah. Not every story has a happy ending. Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus Vicarian. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. Yeah. Yeah, I knew this wise-ass marine named Jimmy Vega. Sounds like a pole dancer on Omega. Always <laughs> got on my nerves. But the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. And together they cured the genophage. And stopped Cerberus from taking over the Citadel. And finally kicked the Reapers from this galaxy and into the next. With a little help from their friends. Nah, it was just us. <laughs> but mostly me. Oh, I love these interactions. So fuck. Excellent find, Commander. The information network terminal has been updated. This minor surgery will erase all scarring from your side of the or go any cosmetic improvements. Will instead get a small health. I miss you, Bryn, but I'm glad you're back there. The fighting's going to get tough when we push out the crucible. I've gotten the cold shoulder from people who know I used to say, who I know used to work for Cerberus. Can't say I blame them, especially after what happened on the Citadel. I've been able to teach other soldiers how Cerberus fights, though. They may be wearing new equipment, but I know their tactics. I love you, Bryn. Take care of yourself. Eh. Right, Mountain Milgram Triple Distilled 45-year-old Scotch Whiskey. Nice choice. It's good to see you. Okay. Let's go help the Astari colonists. I didn't know that was a thing. That's pretty cool. Um, actually, I kind of want to see if our Prothean wants to talk. He did. You and this human called Jacob were both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. I will get you to be a kind and caring being. All right, Javik, I will not give up, damn it. I will not give up. That last mission on Novaria shows why I love the code game. All right, go help me. Sorry. 
filled with text email. Commander. Nimbus plus. Fifty units. Holy shit! Twenty-five percent. Uh oh. Faster than That's light jump successful. Gonna be a problem. That is going to be a problem getting that mass relay. We're gonna have to be fast. Escape. Signal confirmed. Library of Asha. This one. Colony spot. The sus. Garrus and Yara. Dig up any information on the mission, Lyra? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. So what does the Sari High Command want us to do? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once oh. we give a report to High oh, Command, yeah, they'll stop wasting down. lives here. Maybe they're in one of these boxes. That was an upgrade. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. Why not both? Yo, I don't like this music. This is spooky. Yeah. There's more than one out there. Um how about we just go back? <laughs> These commandos can uh, you know solve this on their own. Um this ain't my problem. I've got a war to fight. Uh and this uh, dark. Uh, why do we uh, those are Okay, commando and some dead uh, robots. 
A reminder, students are not allowed to visit each other's quarters or to meet in rooms unsupervised by staff. Students are also forbidden from extranet communication without approval by senior staff members. There are no exceptions to these rules. First offenders will have their free time revoked for a month. Further violations will be met with confinement. Our monastery is our shelter. For it to remain that way, we must make sacrifice. If we do this, I have faith we can continue to enjoy the order and peace this place has given us. Major Hark, Galilee. That! What was that? Stay sharp. Uh, it's a spooky. Delay. You won't believe what Yan has managed to smuggle in. A copy of Vanya. Meet us after supper in the library. Bring some study work. Real is floor warden tonight, so act natural. We'll be by the East Video Banks. This is going to be so great. See you there. Oh, and delete this once you listen to it. Not like last time. It's windy outside, and I just heard like a branch like brush against like my window or whatever, and I got spooked. I heard something. That was me. Sorry. Okay. Fuck. Oh, it really went outside, my dudes. I can also make weird noises, bastard. To our staff and students, attaches our new day. I think I saw lightning. Attaches our new daily schedule. Please note that wake-up time has been moved forward 15 minutes. Floor wardens can download chore li lists later this week. Please see Matriarch Galley or myself if you have any questions or concerns. Sincerely, Superintendent Jethra. Wake up 5.30 to 5.45 a.m. Breakfast from 5.45 to 6.15 a.m. Morning meditation. 6.15 to 8 a.m. Study period 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Chores from 10 a.m. to noon Midday meal from noon to 12.45. Classes from 12.45 to 5, precisely on the dot. There's another study period from 5 to 6. Then supper from 6 to 7. Evening meditation from 7 to 8. A free period from 8 to 10. And then cur curfew by 10 p.m. Oh, nice. Fuck that schedule. <laughs> Waking up before 8 a.m. Fuck that. Reapers, looks like we know why the commando teams went silent. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Arda Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the biotic powers of a bomb. It's in some place called the Great Hall. At least it's no surprise Nuke gone to Chanka, but the commandos want this place gone pretty badly. Arda Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara? It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. What brings the Justicar out here? My daughters have lived here for centuries, Garrus. I've come for them. 
Unfortunately, the Reapers had already invested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Arda Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Faler and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. Okay. My name is Tashia Pori. I'm wounded. Bad. Give this to my bondmate, Weshra. Asked her to go to the Citadel and tell Weshra I love her. Tell her, sorry we fought. I was an idiot. Didn't mean any of it, Weshra. What? Want you to have everything of mine, okay? Love you. I oh, love great. You. I have to tell another one. My name is Tashia Pori. Uh, break the news to another fucking person? Damn it. It's too quiet. Are there any survivors? This fight didn't last long by the look of it. It wouldn't. The monastery only had a few guards to protect it, not an army. Well, this looks like an area to fight some bad guys. I have to Oh yeah, there's ammo here, bud. Oh yeah, we're gonna be fighting some baddies here. Ah. That one's Done. They've touched them. Diddle them. That's what they did to them. Don't know what I'm saying. As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... They have Rila! What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I Fish. vouch for her words with pride. 
Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? But didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Valer. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Valer? I'm sorry. Valer! Hello? The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. Can I do that? I'm a biotic. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. No, I'll take my time. You're welcome. You'd need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. Always double tap. Dems the rule. Jethro, this is Galay. I've blocked extranet access. We don't need the students panicking about these Reaper rumors. Still, it will not hurt to tally our supplies. Please bring me an inventory before evening prayer. I'll contact Cessia later tonight to inquire what set the Asari to war. Go in peace. Go in pieces. Pick that up. Looks cool. I want to hang it up on my wall. All right. The like going down with right dose. Go stay up here. Go down. Jethro, I had the new girl put in a holding chamber. The Justicar who brought her to us, Justicar Fora, said she had trouble convincing the prisoner, prisoner coming to the monastery was necessary. This may explain why the girl lashed out at her guards. She's lucky Fora wasn't here for that. Justicar's code would have demanded an execution. I'll question some other Justicars on the level of coercion Fora is permitted to use by the code. This isn't the first time her captures arrived here terrified out of their wits, but it will certainly be the last. Matriarch Gallic. Jethro, I looked over this year's candidates for supervised visits to Thessia. I'm approving everyone but Giannis. He's impulsive, cunning, and worst of all, a romantic. Find me a worse combination to let outside our walls. I find it suspicious she was even nominated. Let's look into that and pray it's not Giannis manipulating in another infatuation. It takes a great deal of time and effort to persuade Thessia's government to let our best students visit their own homeworld. Unless Giannis matures, she won't be among them. Our galley. Damn, that's fucked up.
Another dead commando. Was she holding off Reapers, or was she left behind? Commandos work as teams. She would have volunteered to guard this point. Hope she took some down before she died. I hope so, too. There's our bomb. And Falaire. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Rila? Uh, Rila, can you hear me? <gasps> ah, spooky. Oh, kill her Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Kill her with a single punch? Can we set off that bomb? Not one without punch? A oh, sorry? Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Get back to that bomb. For there, go. Take the elevator. Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go. Damn, they're like pregnant or some shit? What's in what their fucking bellies? Your slaves. 
Emma. There wasn't even time to say goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Valer, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all... Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. The code is stupid. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Falaire, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Ardat Yakshi left. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Let's see, what's the new thing? Bolas prefer air power and conflicts, counting on the Turians for ground support. They maintain several flotillas of heavy bomber frigates capable of warfare in any atmosphere. The Alliance Engineer cuts roads. You know, we've already read that. The base of, Hesper of a Hesperia period statue is covered in Prothean writing. Translations have proven useful to engineers working on the Prothean device. Zaid Masani has a reputation as one of the most relentless and efficient mercenaries in the Terminus systems. Cerberus contacted Masani a few months after the collectors were destroyed and offered him a job. Negotiations ended badly, and Masani now seeks out jobs that oppose his former employer's interests. He brings years of experience and finally honed survival skills to fight against the Reaper. Nice. Sorry, commandos trained from an early age to control their minds and bodies, seeking the ultimate economy of thought and movement. They are taught that each shot and each decision must decision. Each decision may be made without hesitation. While exact training methods vary among teams, all commandos are consummate professionals. Their ambushes, quick strikes, and clever tactics have bested larger, well-armed units in thousands of recorded conflicts. The Justicars are an ancient Osari order dedicated to finding and punishing those who would harm others. They originally adhered to the Justicar Code, a comprehensive, complicated list of laws, by assaulting the innocent, slaughtering the helpless, and refusing to acknowledge any authority above themselves. The Reapers are an affront to nearly everything the Code stands for. Justicar Samara has set aside all other responsibilities, pledging to stop the Reaper, even if it kills her. The Asari cruiser Nefrain is named for a lost city said to be buried in ice at Thessia's South Pole. The 
cruiser still carries scars from scores of Geth fighters it took on during the Battle of the Citadel in 2183. The crew refuses to have the scars removed, considering them marks of honor. Reminder of how close they came to annihilation. I don't see no scars. The Asari scientists in Arasoni had isolated themselves to prevent academic and corporate theft of their work. They've been researching new polymers, looking for a material with high heat resistance and zero conductivity that is dirt cheap to produce. One of their prototype materials appears ideal for insulating the crucible's venting chamber. The Sabayan is an Asari cruiser class warship. A mix up during the cruiser's construction left it with an unusually large drive core and engineers redesigned to ship around the excessive power source. Sabayan's unusually robust engines provide enough energy to generate kinetic barriers normally reserved for dreadnoughts. Elkos Combine is a manufacturer known for producing reliable but less expensive versions of higher grade weapons and armor. Their scientists are adept at reverse engineering new technology. Both engineers rescued from Satu Ard are applying these same methods to break down the instructions on how to create several dozen new plastic that must be integrated into the Crucible superstructure. In a show of unprecedented generosity, Elkos Combine has waived all proprietary claims to any new compounds created by its scientists. The fuel pods scavenged from a field of debris in the Valhallen Threshold were once attached to a fleet of merchant vessels making long, risky journeys into uncharted space. The pods have been repurposed for the Crucible project. When activated, the Crucible's fusion reactors consume entire oceans of helium-3. The fuel pods serve as emergency reservoirs should the weapon use more power than expected. Ah. Um, Commander Shepard recovered a neurotoxin formula from Service Lab, using it to make an antidote for a poison Turian general. Damn right I did. Damn right I did that. Commander, Dr. Chakwas sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the medbay. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Corrine Lemaeus. Commander Shepard, as of an hour ago, Asari High Command has assigned my squad to support you. We will ride with the second fleet until it's time to deploy. If you'll allow me a personal note, I knew a few of the commandos who went down to that monastery. Nothing will bring them back, but hearing that that place went up in smoke is the only good news I've heard in weeks. Ready to serve, Captain Kareen Lemaeus. <clears throat> I've finished my business on Lesus. Lesus. I would offer to travel once again with you on the Normandy, but the code dictates I join the fight where it is most dire. While you do your essential work, I will do my best to help hold the front. Before I depart, I'll return to the Citadel for a short time to prepare. It does not interfere with your duty. Come find me there. Tomorrow. Hey, Shepard. This Crucible project is intense. Bryn and the others are on it around the clock. Pretty soon I'll have to make a run to the Citadel to pick up some equipment at the hospital. If you have time, want to meet me there? Things are so crazy on Galaxy. It'd be good to see you in a quieter place, you know? Hope to see you around, Jacob. Dear Commander Shepard, thank you again for all you did to get our group out of that facility on Galaxy. Admiral Hackett is an amazing man, and it's a privilege to work under him. The construction of the Crucible is presenting its challenges, but my team and I are determined to crack its mystery. Although I never rely on luck, in this instance I fear we may need a little. Stay safe, Commander. I hope our paths cross again. E. Alright, before I forget, let's talk to Dr. Takwas. Yeah, she can speak to me. Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise-sized brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Indulge my impatience. Doctor, put that bottle in a safe place. We'll crack it open to celebrate our victory over the Reapers. Admire your optimism, and I'll look forward to the day we can share it. Till then. So, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the map. Now I know why. Yeah. That's probably why Mask Bioware made him a villain. No one liked him. <laughs> Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the Loas relay. 
Make sure Galileo is an Asari of some importance with connection to Asari High Command and the Council itself. Her electronic signature can be used once before security protocols realize it has been activated by someone else. Galileo's contact can open elite training facilities for reconditioning soldiers or on behalf of the Asari Embassy, grant someone a discount at all instead of facility. More power damage. Dr. Love, I was working on that problem you sent me last night, and I think I found a solution for synchronizing the Crucible's energy burst. Punch the attached capacitor to redesign into your projections. It should have 3.6 milliseconds of the off the Mass Effect field's activation time. You can see where that leads. If you approve, I'll send the schematics to manufacturing. We'd need roughly 250,000 by tomorrow morning for testing. Cool. Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, nobody deserves that. All right, I think that's gonna where I'm gonna where I'm gonna end it for today. Um, tired, pretty low energy, but we made three more hours of progress, so it's pretty good. Um.